Hi, I'm Ibn Laoshu. Last year in IECIE, I have tried the ultrasonic vape device second time, comparing the experience of the first time in 2020 IECIE in Shanghai. I can say this time is totally usable. I got the device in December last year because this is a sample, so it doesn't have any name. They made by Outru. Their website is below. First, let me share what I know about the ultrasonic device before I got this. The first time I heard this kind of device is three years ago. On YouTube, there is a device called Rhythm, made by Usonisig. I have no way to get it through I'm really interested about it. Then comes to 2021. I found that Usonisig is established by China Tobacco Group of Hunan. And on their official website said, they started starting this technology in 2014 and released the first generation product of the Rhythm in the UK in 2018. Till 2021, they have registered more than 400 patents about ultrasonic optimization. And their product line is updated to third generations now. But now, if you check the USonicSig website, you will find all info about China has been erased. I don't know why. The newest ultrasonic device is Surge. It just came out at the end of the last year and they released the pre-filled pod kit only. Before, I think that concerned department may use ultrasonic as a national vapor standard, but now it seems not likely in short term. Okay, I think I should stop this topic. Let's check the device. As a sample, the pod has no refilling hole, so they give me two injectors. I need to inject the juice through the rubber on the top and then put the cover on. Once it has been covered, it's very hard to uncover it again. I have four pods filled with the tobacco juice, which they especially made for ultrasonic device. The other three, I use 15 mg turkey tobacco from Halo, peach oolong, and mint from straight flush. I want to know the difference in the flavor expression between heat and the ultrasonic. The pot kit is so light, and the little big seem quite cheaply. With 850 mAh battery, 200 ml capacity pod, bottom fire only, inhale resistance is quite loose. They told me this product is aimed to foreign market, so the design is more to DL. It's very easy to make a tight airflow if they want to make an MTL device, also the L trigger. The vapor it produced is not big, and for it has no coil, no resistance, so it's hard to determine how much vapor it should be generated, but it's enough for MTL. In most cases, it works quite good, but occasionally the first jaw will produce a very few vapor or even no vapor at all, especially after a little long time of idle. But through there is no vapor you can see, you can still taste the flavor and feel the straw heat. This experience is a little bit fun, like you just inhale an invisible vapor. After walking two or three times, the vapor will back to normal again. About this phenomenon, I have discussed with them. The possible conclusion is like a traditional heat vape system. After long time unused, the heating wire will be submerged beneath the high drops inside the coil. Under this condition, the new vapor generated by wire has to penetrate the high drops. During the process, the temperature of the vapor will drop a lot and many of them will turn to condensation. The result is you only got very small vapor. On this ultrasonic device, the vapor also needs to go through the juice film and will last a lot of them. But after several times consumption, the film turns to thin and the vapor comes back again. And there is another theory they told me that because VG is like a sub moisture, but I don't think so. For Beijing in winter is so dry, I don't see this frequently on other devices. The pod ceiling is good. 
Four paws after almost three months' use, they have no nicking, no seepage, very hard to taste condensation. 850 mAh battery can finish one pod and a little bit more. Anyway, ultrasonic vibration, in my opinion, is not as energy saving as I think before. Let's see the throttle heat and the flavor expression. First of all, ultrasonic atomization can enhance the throttle heat, improve the absorptivity of liquidine. That is because the ultrasonic can generate a smaller aerosol that is easier to be absorbed by your body. The tobacco juice they give me for this device is 80% VG and a 9mg free base liquidine. I still remember the Stonehenge. It's called Stonehenge, right? 9mg from Alien 5 years ago. That taste is like you are swallowing the blade. This time, the same 9mg free base, I can feel the strong throttle heat without pain. Much smoother. The flavor doesn't have much to say, just the Chinese roast tobacco fuse. Personally, I don't like this scent, but I'm satisfied with its heat. If I don't have any choice, I would accept it. Then comes my flavor. Taki Tobacco 50mg. I can't bear the throttle heat at the beginning for it's too strong, and the 10 buck flavor is so weak. After 20 times of using, I slowly got used to this heat. The 10 buck still very weak. Tobacco scent becomes strong. I can accept it. 35 mg may be more good for this device. If a new user first time try this flavor on the ultrasonic device, he may like it. Then the white peach walnut. I can sense the peach quite strong. The hint of the tea now is gone. The most different is the sweet has been cut a lot. The heat becomes maybe 20% stronger, and I can accept the flavor expression on this device. Then the mint from Straight Flush. This flavor has so many fans. It has a unique flavor of a, a plant leaf at the finish. On this device, Nothing's different except the enhancement of the ice and the heat. About the flavor expression, when I went to the flask to visit their factory, Terry told us about the flash point of the flavor. Different flavor has its best expression temperature. The traditional heat atomization. The heating wire can reach 400 degree. Average is about 300 degree due to airflow cooling. Ultrasonic atomization is during the molecule vibration, the increase of the energy is also expressing by the way of heat. They told me that ultrasonic atomization is at 70% of the boiling temperature of the base solution. For the mixed solution of VG and PG, the vaporized temperature is about 200 degrees, 100 less than heating. And the flavor may not at the best expression temperature. That's the reason why some flavor will fade. And also, this is the advantage of ultrasonic. No temperature atomization. As the description of the Surge official website said, by removing the coil, this technology maximizes the harm reduction potential, operating at the lower temperature and maintaining the chemical stability of e-liquid. Ultrasonic vapor is emitted as smaller particles which improves the nicotine delivery and reduce potential toxins. A cigarette is burning at about 800 degrees, and it will produce about 200 more different harmful stuff at about 600 degrees. And now, ultrasonic vape works at the 30% boiling temperature of the base solution, will be the most harm-reducing way of optimization. It also has a big meaning in upcoming herbal vape, the ultrasonic atomization will make herbal vape products more convincing. Oh, and this, the lifespan of ultrasonic. They told me that, theoretically, the ceramic vibration powers have almost hundreds to thousands hours of working time, and there is no carbon deposition. So, actually, they have a very long time lifespan. It also can increase the 
quantity of the vapor by push up the output power. So if need, they can also produce a digestible system. But somehow, produce a pod that a user no need to change for a very long time is against the principle of the business. So that's why the newest search, they only release the preview pod for the user. But I think this won't be a problem for people who know how to make a hole. What a good device, but why no one cares about it? Well, first you have to know, the optimization solution provider at this point of time, they are against it. For this will change the way of vaping and it's not good for them. Secondly, neither Philomenon products to introduce this technology to the public. Like Stick of Vigard introduced the liquid sauce to us in 2018. Okay, that's all I know about the ultrasonic now. Anyway, it gives you a totally acceptable user experience. Now just wait for the final product release to the market. They may release a preview part kit in the middle of this year, if they have the chance. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Hopes you can learn something from this. And what do you think about ultrasonic? Do you also expecting it? Leave your comment below and share your opinions. If you like my video, please give me a zan or yijian san nian. If you like this stuff, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have a wonderful product you want me to try, welcome. In next video, I will bring you the MVP pod kit from Inokin. See you next time. Bye.